testing the recording now. All right, this begins the IPFS All Hands of December 4th, 2017. On the agenda, we have IPFS cluster news. Um, it's IPFS running on the gateway. If we want to start that. All right. Yeah, hey, everyone. Uh, just wanted to give a small update. Last week, I deployed a cluster on all IPFS gateways. So there are like there's like a cluster with ten peers in it, and it gave me close to no issues, which I'm very happy for. We injected a bin set of two thousand items, and everything became pinned in the end. And I also integrated Pinbot uh, partially against IPFS cluster, so now it's um, it's still been in the way it pinned before, but it's also been in against cluster, so cluster is maintaining uh, the pin set in the Pinbot. Um, I think this is a milestone because it's the first cluster that we are just running, and it's there and it's working live. And yeah, still working around there trying to finish uh, the pinbot and trying to add some, some small features to watch when, make it easy to interact with cluster and, and make it easy to watch for things um, to see if they're pinned or not, because right now there's no client library or anything like that. But yeah, I just thought uh, I will tell you about it. And yeah, we also have uh, Tiot in this call, and he's gonna he's made some he's gonna make a demo afterwards. And yeah, I won't tell you about it. I'm looking forward to it too, but uh, it's related to Blaster too. So. Thanks everyone. Also, if you have if you have questions, is the time. Lars. Yeah, um, awesome. Um, so what's the next stage, basically? Um, are we going to build some, some huge storage cluster? Or yeah, what's next? So right now, it's just uh, polish the Bimbo integration and make sure it just works with cluster and it doesn't need to work uh, contacting every node or anything like that. And yeah, you told me that we are moving to a better deployment. We are moving to Kubernetes, not Kubernetes. Um, this HashiCorp based uh, yeah, solution. And I think there we can have a huge storage cluster if that's what we need. But this is a good, a good startup that we can just have cluster peers around the world and things are not erroring, things are working, you can pin, you can query the pin set, you can see what failed to pin and you can re-trigger pinning and, and basically you can do what cluster does and it works. It's just not some testing thing. Great, thank you. All right, if there's no more questions, it looks like we can move on to demos. Uh, the first demo is IPFS station update. Uh, hi, Ron. So do we want to do the demo, the bunker demo first, uh, since it's related with um, IPFS cluster, or do we want to do station right away? Oh, that could go first, sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Tom. I've been looking at the IPFS cluster. Let me uh, share my screen. So uh, I've been looking at IPFS cluster, and I wanted a more user-friendly UI. So uh, I ported the JS IPFS API and made a. Uh, and then it's ported to the JS IPFS cluster API. Uh, so it's pretty much extremely similar to the JS IPFS API except for IPFS cluster. Um, 
Uh, it exposes everything that the API exposes right now uh, with the promises. Uh, so with that, I made a little front end for a IPFS cluster, which I called a bunker. Uh, which is in my other GitHub repository. It's pretty much just a little front end for IPFS cluster. It's still very limited. It uh, doesn't do very much. But uh, you can see all the nodes listed over here. Uh, they just added node names in the configuration file. So these are my host names. Uh, then it lists the files, and you could browse through some of them. And uh, you can choose new files to upload. Uh, so if I do this. Then you can see that it uploads to the cluster and uh, still super basic, but I'd like to add some things about node health and the metrics and uh, just more better end usability functions for interacting with IPFS cluster. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If uh, Any uh, questions or anything here? Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. So we had like uh, two features to cluster for this. One is like pin name. So you can attach a string to your pin, which is something that IPFS uh, doesn't have. And we also added like um, peer names. So you don't have to, you, you don't have to just a peer ID. You just have a name attached to your to your cluster peer, which are really good for, for user interfaces because you can see what you're pinning. So even you can think even if in, in a single uh, peer cluster, cluster is already adding some features on, on top of IPFS, uh, which are just uh, nice to have in this sense. And you can always uh, start with one and then uh, add more peers as, as you run out of the storage and things like that. Yeah, thank you very much for for this talk, and I'm looking forward to see where where this goes and what we can do to to support you, because yeah, you can clearly see that from the moment you build a, a user interface, uh, you're gonna need some features to make it easier for the user, and if you're doing that, it's it's way more clear um, what is needed. So let us know how how we can support you. Thank you. All right, we are probably ready to move on to our next demo then, which is the IPFS station update. All right, uh, thank you. And I added one more item to the agenda, which is just like a quick announcement. Um, and and it, it's by me as well, so I'll just do both. Uh, so just IPFS 027 has been released today, this morning. So now if you do npm install this IPFS, uh, you will get the latest version. Uh, a lot of people have been installing it and I'm seeing a lot of memory uh, and performance improvements. Make sure to try it out. Uh, I posted here the release issue. So you can see the highlights like what changed, uh, what was improved, what was added, and also if you are migrating, what you need to like worry about. Uh, essentially, there should be two API calls that you should pay attention if you were using them in the past. Um, and there's notes there uh, of how, what to change to. So yeah, uh, check it out and give feedback, please. I uh, hope you like this new release and that your apps get faster. The next demo, uh, and uh, if you have any next question, I'm happy to answer them now. Otherwise, I'll just like go to the next demo. All right. Uh, so the IPFS station epic. So Enrique Diaz, which is not here today because he has uh, an exam, um, he has been working on IPFS station. IPFS station is the Electron app that lets you install Go IPFS uh, into your desktop machine without having to like touch the command line, without having to go download the like, binary, like just gives you like, a nice installer. And so um, I asked Enric to record a video for us to, sh to show what is as he, he has been up to. 
and and I've uploaded it to YouTube. I think we can like watch it here. It's like a, a four minute demo thing of I just going through station. That's good. All right. So I'm not 100% sure if this is going to, like if you're going to hear the audio from the video, but let's try. So if I share my screen, um, and what is, all right. So if I'm gonna share my screen, you should see like a browser window now. And you should see a video. So we have two, two ways to make this work. Or I play the video and the sound also goes to you guys, which I'm not sure. Or if it, the sound doesn't go to you guys, we can all go to the link, watch the video, and then come back and talk about it, <laughs> I guess. OK, let's try it. I'll stop talking. Do you, do you, see, do you hear the audio? Nope. No, no audio at all. OK, so I'll just share the link. Um, where is chat? On this something here. Chat. Can't you set your the microphone input in Zoom to the uh, to the computer sound? Because otherwise we miss the demo from the recording, right? Uh, yeah, but the demo is already uploaded to the YouTube channel. I actually uploaded this morning as well. Okay. So then we can we have a link to share with people. Uh, yeah, let me see all the options. David, uh, you should just give another demo for us. Another demo? I, yeah. I can like go through it, uh, but like since he kind of like has been working on it and like he, he shows it working on Windows, uh, I kind of like wanted to give him the chance to be the one presenting. Okay, so the, the link is there. Uh, shall we do this? Okay, everyone go to the link. Everyone play. Can I get a bunch of thumbs up so I'm just make sure people are, are doing it? Okay, I'll play it and watch it as well so that I know more or less when people finish up.
Oh, all right. I hope everyone has the time to, to check it out. Um, yeah, so as Enric said, ah, by the way, he apologized for being so quiet. Apparently, he recorded a video very early in the morning when his, their roommates, his roommates were still sleeping. So kind of like at the quick quiet. Uh, so yeah, like the, you can check out the station um, repo. You can like git clone it, change the redesign branch, and I like, get access to all those things. Um, I know that like Enric and Victor are also working on making the packaging really nice so that like we can get um, build versions for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows right in our distributions page. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, um, you can ask me now or just open a, an issue for Enric. So how can I, okay, it's interesting. Uh, okay, got it. <laughs> Just not being able to stop screen share anymore. Any any feedback? I was wondering about the uh, the UI. Yeah. Is okay. it is, is what he is showing in the video is that Windows specific, because it looks like a very Windows inspired UI in general. But is that, uh, it's not Windows specific. UI it is not windows specific uh it is like so you will get that same ui in mac os and linux uh it is very inspired by a previous contribution from demo uh there was a contributor like maybe eight months ago that started working on a redesign and provided a bunch of those assets and and basically enrique like grabbed those assets improved them a little bit and implemented them on on the ui of station Uh, Johnny, I think you had your hand up as well. Yeah, so where's the repo being saved? I'm looking at the source code now and, and installing it. But So is it coming from the environmental variable? Uh, are you on the branch? Um, like, are you on the redesign branch? Yeah, well, actually, I'm just uh, the master branch from, from uh, okay. the IPFS uh, shipyard. And you're getting uh, an error, is that it? No, I'm just wondering where is uh, Actually, I'm still installing it. So where where is it? And if you actually, like, for instance, I have like four different locations in my environment. And if it's in my home folder, will it automatically open up my current repo that I have in my home folder? Uh, yeah. IP so it will IPFS. default to the, um, like, it will try the default IPFS location. So, um, um, like, yeah, on your home folder. Uh, you, you, when you are opening it, you can, like, change. Um, like the default location to something else, and it will pick it up on on your other repos. Okay. Yeah. And if you go to master, basically you have the old version, like the old design, uh, but all fixed and working. Um, that was the first milestone. This new milestone is this new design, which makes it a little bit more functional. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so that was the demo. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I guess if there is no more agenda items and demos, this will conclude December 4th, 2017 IPFS All Hands. Um,